What's up, y'all? Pete here. I wanted to talk for a moment about Freedom of Information Act requests, also known as FOIA requests. The main principle of this act is that people have a right to know about the activities of public authorities. With anything that uh, these course of monopolies do, there's a lot of uh, pushback to being transparent, but... The presumption is that a government agency should provide you with the information that you request. If it is going to deny a request, it should do so in writing, and it has the burden of explaining to you the reasons why your request has been denied. Based on what state you're in, it, the act may not be called a FOIA act. It may be called, for example, in New Hampshire, the Right to Know Act, and elsewhere it's called a Sunshine Provision. But uh, there's a lot of resources you can check out at copblock.org slash FOIA. An example when you might want to submit a FOIA request is if you're unjustly kidnapped and caged. Uh, you might want to go to the police outfit where the individual works who uh, aggressed upon your rights and solicit, say, the number of complaints made against that individual. Oftentimes, the police outfits won't go into the details. They won't provide the details about those complaints. Um, but if you're able to then say, to show that, hey, this person has a dozen complaints lodged against them, then that really helps to show a pattern and shows that uh, what you're claiming happened isn't an anomaly. We can try to bring about accountability and justice outside the, the uh, criminal's justice system and rely instead on the court of public opinion. You can also use a FOIA request proactively. Uh, for example, this was done in Keene, New Hampshire. The Keene police outfit there had, has uh, posted the names of their police employees. So based on a FOIA request filed, information was received back that also provided all their badge numbers and their email addresses. When you submit your FOIA request, be sure to ask for a receipt. Usually that's done by a stamper being put on your document, a copy being made and that provided to you. Also get the name of the person you interacted with and as with all police interactions, film the interaction or have a friend accompany you that'll film. Is there a reason why you have your cameras going? Just to record what's going on. Why? Just to record it for our record. Yep. Your record? Mm-hmm. That's right. Okay, I have Saji McGilbert coming out to talk. Okay, is there a problem with us recording? No. What do you get cameras for? Is it a problem? Is it a problem that you just grow up? Somebody else. Is it a problem that I have a camera? Not to me. I don't really care what you do. Well, then why are you accusing me of being a child? I should mention that based on whatever arbitrary political boundary you're in, there may be some charges related to the FOIA request. So you may want to note ahead of time uh, that you want to be informed if and when such charges may be levied. For example, I've seen this most typically applied to the printing of documents. So if you request information and you receive back 100 pages of documents, they may try to claim that you owe them a quarter for the first sheet and then a dime for every additional sheet. So what I've found to be the most effective way to uh, not fund these criminal outfits in that sort of situation is to just go to the facility when you're notified that the information requested is available and just stay in the facility, you know, sit in the lobby or stand at the counter and review all the documents and just take pictures of all the information that you think is pertinent or take pictures of every document and then just return back the documents to them. Other uh, locations might try to say that you owe them money based on the time it takes to uh, satisfy the FOIA request you submit. So for example in Georgia, uh, a couple months ago when I was down there with the police accountability tour I was told that FOIA requests that necessitated over 45 minutes of employee time to satisfy would uh, result in a charge. So how do you go about submitting a FOIA request? Well, there's a lot of templates and guides online. Again, you can see some uh, posted and linked to from coplock.org slash FOIA. But generally, my default has been the more simple you make the FOIA request, the better. That way that there can't be hang-ups on the ways that you word things. It's, it's very clear and succinct and to the point. So I tend to just uh, list my name and my phone number and email so I can be notified when the FOIA request is satisfied. And then I outline exactly what I'm looking for. I might say I want all information related to uh, an incident that happened on such and such a date, including but not limited to video, audio, police reports, internal memos, emails, etc. I also recently saw some videos posted by our friends active with Cop Block Northwest Arkansas in which it cited that a that case law says that no identification needs to be given when a FOIA is submitted. All right. And your name, sir? I prefer not to give that at this time. Okay. Yeah. All right. And tell me again what you're needing. Um, all the officers' names. 
their badge ID numbers and the unit numbers of the vehicles. I do need a phone number so they can contact you. I'll just come back tomorrow. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's fine. I will let her know. Give this to her. Um, FOI, we do have up to 72 business hours to finish this. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not saying that will take that long. Normally right. It doesn't, but I can't speak for someone else. Right. Okay. okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Take care. Okay. So that tactic is something you might want to consider as well, especially if you value your anonymity. Perhaps you're a uh, pretty handy with the keyboard and you're able to access some information uh, without going through these official channels, then maybe that too uh, could be a pretty effective um, tactic taken. Hi. Hi. Yeah, I'd like to submit a public records request. You submit it uh, through our legal section. Oh, you can't submit it through here? No, you send it in the mail through our legal section, 470 Worcester Road. Is there a reason I can't submit it here and you can't forward it for me? You submit it through 470 Worcester Road through U.S. Mail to the legal section, okay? Well, you're allowed to submit a public records request in person. Yeah, I'll take your record request, okay? Mm-hmm. Thank you very much. So what's See the thing? What are you going to tell the next person who asks to hand one in? Are you going to tell them they can't? Can I have an apology? I'm not going to argue the law with I'm you. I'm not arguing it. I'm stating it. Okay. Have a nice day, sir. I've given so, my legal so, opinion on your freedom of information request. So they know you've my legal opinion. So you've refused. So you've refused to aid in this process, correct? You're stepping out of it. If they want to give it to you, they're free to give it to you. And me. thank you for infringing on my rights. Well, I'm not infringing on your rights. I'm upholding the law. What, That's right. his choice. All I can tell you, the I law says he doesn't even. have to. Do you want to? Yes or no? But I'm no, presenting it to you. Okay. Thank you. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time, officers. Thank you. You too.